talk into it. I love Tom Brady. When I first started playing, I I actually typically had like a big uh, slice, and then it's actually the last few years I've been playing more of a more of a draw. Actually, for the most part, I like it, but sometimes it gets a little hooky. Pros, they always take like these massive divots. Whenever I take a divot of any size, it's like a total well fat you know, shot. A lot of pros actually, they're much skinnier. You're gonna see a lot of change. A lot of these big divots, and when you're hitting pitch, you guys do the speed, putting a lot of speed into the club, and they're a lot more on top of it. If they're hitting it a lot lower, you just want a little bit higher back like this, and you hit them higher. So they're gonna be on these more more on top. You won't see them taking big divots with you know five four iron crayons they're going to be much more shallow and a little bit more back here so on the wedges we tend to get much more on top of it covering the ball handles more forward so it'll dig a little more because they're they're flying them a lot lower than what you're doing right there you you're kind of tipped back a little bit like this the hands would be a bit back and that's why you're a little more shallow on this one feel like you covered a bunch so that means when i mean cover it like your chest is a little more down you got all your weight in your left leg you're very rotated you feel like the handles more in front all your weight in your left side. You're going to really try and hit this low from the forward ball position. Try to hit it low from there. So really cover it, really what we call being on top of it. There's your divot. Now we did hit a little behind it, mm -hmm. but that's your divot. So this has to do with your angles of your arms and stuff. Like you have a trouble, like you'll throw your arm a little bit down into it. You don't keep these angles there. We're going to work on all this, but that's why you hit behind it when you try and get so your body kind of naturally knows it gets a little steep and it kind of will pop out because you throw the arm straight. So when the arm gets long, it's going to hit the ground earlier. When you keep that bent in that arm like you're skipping rocks, you'll get that low point more forward. Those are good. Low shot. You're a little too under. Right, so you're a little under, which is a good, this is where good players play from though. This is a good player mistake. So we just need to get your path a little bit more left. We could narrow the stance up just a touch to be picky, get a little foot flare. It'll feel like you're almost your left shoulder gets up out of the way at impact. So we're gonna have a lot more rotation this way. And I think getting you a little bit better turn is gonna just help you too overall. We're just a little under, we just gotta get the path a little more left. You know, you hit them a little high just a touch because the right arm just see we kind of lose a little bit of what we might call the lag it kind of get throw it out a little bit early your right arm is very underneath this is another thing we'd like to get your right hand a little more on top see how you kind of got it on the side like this mm -hmm. feel this one very on top and then we're just going to want to get this see how this thumbs on this side of the shaft mm -hmm. I like it more on this side of the shaft. This got this more on top, and you'll feel this connection better. See, if there was a golf tee here, I'd like you to continue to press that in there and feel that pressure on there. When it's over here and weak, there's no, the grip's separating, right? We can't put any pressure to the club well, and it can do, it can do things with the face. With this light grip pressure, you grip it in these last three fingers. This is an anti-left move. If you grip it firm here in these last three, firmer, okay? <laughs> Because you have your your problem is a hook, and then you just have this light grip pressure, and you feel a little pressure here and a little pressure with these two, and that's it. But very very light. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have much what I call foot flare. I like your feet to point out a little bit more. My biggest thing is getting you some more hip turn, and that foot flare will help. I just want you to feel like you take this belt buckle and you put it over your right foot. You can't turn it enough, right? You could take your right butt cheek, show it to the target. Nice turn. Good. Oh, nice. You just got a path that goes too much down the first baseline. So I always want you to get on the top and just feel, it's gonna feel like if you're there, right? It's just gonna kind of feel like I'm gonna crash into you a little more instead of you're going underneath this, like where you're standing. So you're gonna feel like you come a little more out. 
shoulders are going to be, you're going to have a lot more rotation. Watch what happens if I can get this club here and my right arm gets stays in front. That keeps all that connection, all that lag. Imagine if there was a green right in front of you here near your target, right? Our target's right there. I want you to throw the, the sand on the green to the left. You're throwing the sand over towards me a little bit. This is where like we're going to skip rocks. You get a little, just a little bit where you're dribbling a basketball ceiling, right? Right arm comes comes out, gets extended. So we got to work. We got to be a little more fade bias. So one way we can just do it, we could do it with our stance a little bit. We can aim our feet a little more open. Ball position slightly forward gets us a little more out to end. You might not have to think too much about your path, but you ideally you want your arms to exit more over here, feeling much more left instead of exiting more out this way. So feel like your stance is a little bit open. And you're going to feel like you keep the face point a little more right, like the heel beats the toe on this, okay? Does that make sense? There you go. Better. A little bit. Just feel these arms really coming down to the left. And you're going to open up as much as you can. Get your hips, your left shoulder up out of the way, forward up out of the way as fast as you can. You're not going to let the toe, you're not going to let the toe roll over like this. You're going to keep the face feeling very, it's going to feel open to you. There you go. Really good. We got to feel, you got to feel just as soon as you turn, you got to feel rotation. You're going to want to feel this. You're going to feel over the top, just what you got to feel. So I don't want any slide. I don't I want to feel. You can keep the club head back as long as you want. I'm okay with that, but you're going to turn as much as you can and swing these arms to the left. So if you feel like you're going to hit it miles left doing this, because that's what you feel, just feel like this face stays here. Look where the face is pointing. See how open I am? My face is pointing right at your target, though, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what you're... So you're getting like this, right? You're under here. Got a little bit of a flip, and it's getting too much hook. See, another thing you do, so when you get your weight, you get tend to get a little more diagonal in your weight shift, right? So on this way, you go to the heel and diagonal. So this is more draw hookyville. You need to feel a little more weight going to the outside middle of the foot to the back of the heel. This is more heel, it's more fade bias. You're getting a little bit heel to toe diagonally this way. It's good to hit the golf ball a long way, but also put some hook and draw on it. Mm -hmm. We're going to soften this hand up a little bit too. A little more neutral there, so you're going to see less knuckles, okay? We're going to put you in more of an open grip, I call it, we call it, okay? There you go. Good. That one felt good. Watch when I'm very in and out where my path is going to hit. See how much more behind here I'm hitting? And as I get more left, see how it's getting more forward? That makes sense? Mm -hmm. so, thin, so the fat and thin shot are all the same. You get a little too in and out and you're just bottom out back here too much. Path, and it's yours a path related issue. A little bit of right arm, but mainly just path. So I want you on this one to feel that you're a little bit more down on like the chest is covering the ball. Chest down a little bit more, butt out. <laughs> kind of like left shoulder feeling a little more down in the downswing. Hit over, let's hit some balls over in here. So it's almost feeling your downswing, feeling the left shoulder down, chest more down. Open. Give me that. Give me some left foot flare. Left foot flare. See, it's going to help you open up a little easier. Yeah, it makes all the sense in the world to do the same part as well. Watch, get this foot flare and get this ball way up in your stance. It's going to feel uncomfortably forward, and you're going to hate it because you hate swinging. Like, give you more. You hate it, but it's going to be good. <laughs> That's the best drive I've seen. <laughs> You know, Matt Wolf doing this thing, kind of like a counter move, or the Kyle Berkshire doing the back and forth. 
but getting it up. Like, so instead of you going down, I'd rather you go up. I don't, but I don't want you to, we're tattooing these things, and I don't want you to think about it. This is down the road. 